This is a special day for each one of you. We have heard from the principal's report the details, and I wouldn't go into the facts of all those. I'd like to congratulate each one of you for all the achievements that you have accomplished in the four years that you are here in campus. Especially, you're all aware we had a pandemic, and during the pandemic, we have come out successfully, and you are here today to receive your rightfully earned degrees. Our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vailraj, you all have heard that he's an expert. I don't have to elaborate on that. We are very happy to have him amongst us this uh, afternoon. Also, we have Mr. Alan Sundaraisen, our governing council member and well wisher of our institutions. We welcome you also, sir, to this gathering. They are all very inspirational leaders, and I'm sure their words will carry a long way in your minds and hearts. Swami Vivekananda said, take risks in your life. If you win, you lead. If you fail, you will guide. As you stand on the threshold of a new chapter, remember that your time has equipped you with not just technical knowledge, but also resilience and adaptability. In the ever-evolving landscape of technology, you are the architects of tomorrow's innovations. Embrace change, for it is the catalyst of progress. Cherish the bonds you formed in this campus, for they are the foundation of a supportive network that will accompany you on your professional journey. As you step into the world beyond these academic walls, carry the torch of curiosity. Seek knowledge relentlessly, for it is the key to unlocking new possibilities. Remember that success is not solely defined by achievements, but by the impact you create and the lives you touch. Your alma mater takes pride in your achievements and accomplishments, and we have full confidence in your ability to face the challenges ahead. May your endeavors be guided by integrity, empathy, and a passion for excellence. Congratulations to each one of you. The future awaits your brilliance. May each of you go forth and make your mark on the world. Even after five decades, the Hindustan Group of Institution still continues the journey that began in earnest with our founder, Dr. K.C.G. Vargis, to draw from a deeper pool of talent and provide our institutions with the excellence they deserve. The presence of our founder, Dr. K.C.G. Vargis, is felt even today in our long history of success. I'm also grateful to our founder, Chairperson, Dr. Elizabeth Vargis, for offering her perspectives, wisdom, and support, and for leading in ways that continue to guide and inspire me. KCG Tech is currently celebrating its recently acquired autonomous status and silver jubilee of the college, and continues to contribute to the success of the Hindustan group of institutions, and is blessed with a exemplary capacity to seek truth and to do good, imbued with awesome potential to change the lives of individuals and prospects of communities. I have to hear, applaud and congratulate the faculty, staff and students for their courage and resolve to make the world a better one against all odds by continually recommitting to our central purpose of advancing prospects of humankind with renewed vision and vigor. Many of you have left your parents, grandparents in the comfort of your homes to come all the way to Chennai to forge new lives by seeking a college education here in KCG Tech to ensure your better future. In moments big and small, may you always be reminded of your responsibility towards the future generations and continue to share with the world the many skills and talents that you have gained while you were at KCG Tech. 
Knowledge is what transforms lives and is our purpose. We serve that purpose best when we commit to open inquiry and freedom of expression as foundational values of our academic community. Persistent questioning and healthy inquisitiveness are the first requisites for acquiring learning of any kind, said Mahatma Gandhi. Our individual and collective capacity for discovery depends on our willingness to debate ideas, to expose and reconsider assumptions, to marshal facts and evidence, to talk and to listen with care and humility, and with the goal of a deeper understanding and as seekers of truth. The courage to ask why animates our research and teaching, overturns conventional wisdom, and opens the blue sky of human pursuit and possibility. It encourages students and faculty to move towards discovery and challenge each other to push to the next levels of understanding and insight. Chairman Hindustan Group of Institution, Dr. Anand Jacob Varghese, Sri Anand Sundaresan, guest of honor, Dr. Annie Jacob, Director, KCG College of Technology, Dr. M. Muthukannan, Principal, KCG College of Technology, and all heads of the department, faculty members, and students who are receiving degree today, and all proud parents. I am very happy to address on this 21st graduation day of KCG College of Technology. First, I would like to congratulate all the graduates who are receiving medals and degrees, particularly those who secured rank in the Anna University. I would like to share some of my thoughts. Maybe it is useful as you are going to start your career, sharing some of my experience will be very useful for youngsters, I feel. Because whatever we achieved over a period of 40 years, by lot of failures, seeing lot of failures, if you learn how others have done it, the same thing you can achieve within a period of 10 years. So, sharing my experience definitely will be useful for youngsters. First, I would like to tell you have just completed your degree and two batch of students are there. Some of you would have completed two years of your service in your career and many of you would have started your higher education. Anyway, first your first degree you have completed, your undergraduate degree. Now you need to take responsibility. Till your undergraduation study, you depend on your parents. Now you need to know how to take responsibility and succeed in your life. Taking responsibility is very, very essential. What is responsibility? You should know, you should plan for your career. Nobody will help you hereafter. You should succeed in your career. You should succeed in your family life. Everything, lot of challenges are ahead of you for which you need to plan properly, plan properly. You need to know your strength, weakness, and what are all the opportunities ahead of you to achieve, what are all the challenges and the threats also in front of you. Only if you know, you can succeed in your career. Okay, before analyzing your strength, you should know what is the strength of this country. Any, any organization, any organization 
during their growth or even if if they start initially they will analyze their strength and weakness what are all the opportunities and challenges like that you also should now analyze your strength this country's strength is also your strength and separately you have individual strength all these will help you now you should know this country is having lot of good strength which every student should understand first this country this next two decades opportunity for all indian youths are plenty that you should understand all indian youths have lot of opportunity in the next two to three decades when we studied that kind of opportunity some 30 years ago that kind of opportunity was not there now for you opportunity is plenty why i am telling now the average age of indian citizen is only 28 whereas most of the developed nations the average age of this respective citizens is around 48 in japan it is 48 in germany united states every developed nation it is more than 45 so even for their growth they need youngsters and they depend on Indian youths only. So you should know opportunity is plenty in front of you. And you should know what is your inherent strength also. You would have studied 12 years in school, 4 years in college, your undergraduation. Some of you also would have completed your post-graduation during this 12 plus 4 plus 2 years of study. What you gained from your schools and colleges. You do not know, you have some separate competency compared to others. You would have gained through your teachers and your parents, some surrounding circumstances, gave some good strength to you. You should know what is your strength compared to others, then how to use that strength for your growth you should know. Always, any strength will be associated with uh, some weakness also. Normally, the present-day weakness is what? All most of the students, the weakness is they spend lot of time with the mobile. Mobile addiction is one of the weakness. Some of you, if you get addicted in drug addiction, it is worst thing. Definitely, it's coming out from that drug addiction is very, very dangerous. And it is that one should not get yielded in any kind of addiction, other addictions. Some kind of... Friends, wrong friendship also will kind of some kind of addiction and some kind of weakness. For anything to achieve, you need a driving potential in your life. If you want to achieve something, you need some driving potential. Always the driving potential will be associated with some resistance. You all are you, whatever branch you would have studied, in the school itself you would have studied Om's law, am I right? Om's law you all would have studied. Current flow is equal to potential difference by resistance. Anything to flow, this law is not only for this electrical current to flow. The same formula mechanical students would have studied heat transfer, heat flow. Heat flow is equal to thermal potential difference by thermal resistance. Am I right? In the life anything to flow. If you want to achieve, if you want to achieve something that is a kind of flow, some potential difference is required. Always it will be associated with some resistance. So this flow, now you are, you want to achieve something, you want to flow, but you have some potential difference, self-drive or the drive you would have got from your parents or from your best friends or from your teachers, you would have got some drive. But always it is associated with some resistance that is your weakness. The resistance, some wrong friendship, some kind of addiction, mobile addiction, all these are some kind of resistance. If you are able to overcome this resistance, this flow will be very high even with a small potential difference. Understood?